Hello there, Lewis Cass, and welcome back. Today, I want to go over um, just a quick review of how to use Google Meets. And I think this is a great platform for us to use to check in with students and to have some um, live instruction and just just a great resource for us to be able to connect with our kids. So I know a lot of you have already had this training, so I'm going to be um, going through it a little quick and just giving you some, some tricks. So the first thing I need you to do is log on. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be in your drive. And through your drive, you're going to go to your Google Apps. And you'll notice um, Google Apps is where your nine dots are in the right-hand corner. So go ahead and click that and go to uh, the Meets, Google Meets. And that is a speech bubble right here with a camera in the middle. And that is your Google Meet app. Click that. Okay, so we have arrived at the Google Meets homepage. And this is where students and yourself will either join or start a meeting. So the first thing we want to do when we get to this web page is we're going to click the plus sign, join or start a meeting. And when it comes up, it's going to prompt you to choose a meeting code or nickname. For elementary teachers, you might want to think about maybe using your last name and then maybe day one, day two, or just one, two, three, whatever. You can, you can do what you want. I would keep it simple um, and easy to remember for kids. For the high school and middle school levels, you might want to think about um, labeling it whatever your class is called. So I'm going to pretend I'm in an elementary and I am Wheeler 1. And that would mean that this is my Wheeler uh, day one meeting. It is not case sensitive, so it's okay if you put in a capital and they type in Wheeler 1. It's going to send you to the same place. So go ahead and hit continue. Okay, so once you get to um, this page, you'll see that it's going to ask you, it's not going to ask you, but it's going to show you that your mic is working. So here's the microphone, and you'll see over here that it's picking up your sound. Uh, you'll also see that your camera's on. So you're going to want to make sure both of those work. Um, once that's all working. You're going to go ahead and go to join now. And you'll see here Wheeler 1. No one else is here. If other kids, if people are in there, you'll see who they are. But we're going to go ahead and join the um, meet. So we're going to click that. Okay. So when you enter, you'll see this pop up first. It's going to have, again, your class name. And then if you want to invite people at this point, you can copy by joining um, the info. Send, that will send a link. So if you click it, you've made a copy. You can put this in an email or post it on um, Canvas. You can also send students um, an email through the invite button. And you can type in their names, and that'll send them an invite. And you can also provide them with the code. So mine was Wheeler1. I could post that on Canvas and just say, hey, I'm going to have um, a morning meeting from 9 to 10. I'd love for you to be there. Type in Wheeler1 on, um, on Google Meets, and then you'll be able to enter. So you'll know who's in your meeting when you go up here and you'll see um, in the top right corner, there's the people icon. So when you click it, you'll see the people who are in the meeting will show up and they'll show up along here. Now, obviously, I don't have anyone in the meeting, but they'll be here. Maybe there's a student who's not on and you're like, oh, I need to add them. You can add, you can add here as well. So that's there. You can also chat. This is something that when I was um, when I was a teacher, I would use for questions. So, um, for example, I would have students if they had questions about whatever it was I was teaching, I would have them type in the question, and then I would address it later. 
So um, sometimes it needed to be addressed to the whole class. Sometimes it needed to be an individual thing. So that's a great resource to use for questions or if you want to facilitate some discussion, another great way. Um, you don't have to use it, it's just there. So this bottom area that's pulling up, I can, I wanna bring your, I wanna bring it to your attention, uh, some different things. You'll see over here that your class is Wheeler One, that's class you're in. Here's the mic if you need to mute yourself, and uh, maybe you need to say something, um, or something's going on in the background, you don't want um, it to be all over the meeting, you can mute that. Um, and you can also turn off your camera. When you're presenting something that um, you may want to recommend to students is to have them mute while you're modeling a lesson because background noise picks up pretty, pretty easily. There's also a turn on captions button here. So if you are having trouble understanding someone, you can click that. And when you do, you'll see that your screen changes and the captions pull up. So that's there if you need it. There's also uh, this area over here to the right with three little buttons that says more options. And when you click it, I just wanna bring your attention to um, one of the more important things on Google Meets is the record meeting button. You'll notice here is a record meeting button. We really um, wanna record every meeting. That is not only for your protection, but also just um, in case a student can't make the meeting, they will be able to look at it again. This is also really great for um, teachers when they're doing more differentiated lessons or flip the classroom style because they can save these um, lessons and then shoot them out to students as they need. So a lot of great reasons to record. So when you record, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click it. And you'll notice it's gonna ask for consent. That is asking you for consent and it's reminding you to ask others. What you're doing is you're gonna hit accept and then you're gonna let students know or anyone know that the, um, the meeting's being recorded. Now, you'll see that it was a slight delay. Um, you'll, you heard the button or the beep and you see the red in the top left corner. That shows you that it's recording. So the meeting has only been recording from the time I hit record. It's really important that you, that's the first thing you do is you record from the very beginning. And then just a couple other options for you for fun. If you're interested, you can change the layout. You can click that. You can also hit full screen, which makes it larger to see. So those are some things to pay attention to. Um, let's say you are wanting to model a lesson and you want to teach the kids live. You can do that. That's what makes Google Meet so great. Uh, one of the things you can do is you can hit this present now. And you'll see here that it's going to show you can use your entire screen or a window. When we use our entire screen, I'm going to click that. Um, this is the easiest is you'll go here and it'll say share your screen. And you're gonna click it and make sure it's highlighted, that picture. Once you do the prompt, so let me, un yeah. Once you do this share button will pop up and it's gonna share your computer screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. So now, whatever is on my computer in front of me, students are able to see. Um, you'll see that you're presenting to everyone. That has prompted me to do that. So. Let's say I've already um, made a lesson on a PowerPoint or a sketch pad and I pull it up and I wanna teach in live. So this is my pre-made lesson and I'm asking kids to solve five plus five. So you'll see here that it's five plus five and I'm saying, oh, what's five plus five? That's right, it's 10, great job. Six plus zero, that's right, boys and girls, it's six. I'm able to work within my screen, whether it's sketch um, Sketchpad or we're using um, a PowerPoint, you're able to do it all live and help kids um, you know, model the best way you can for students in a lesson. So that is presentation mode. When you are done presenting, you are gonna hit stop presenting. So I've hit stop.
that means I am no longer showing the screen in front of me. Um, this might be a time where I say, okay, I've presented, I've modeled to you this lesson, what questions do you have? And then they could either use the chat to type in questions and you can respond accordingly or you can uh, provide a procedure for students where maybe they give you, um, you know, a peace sign and that says, oh, Susie has a question. You know, that's all dependent on you. So that's how you present. Um, one of the things that I also think is super awesome about Google Meets is that it automatically saves. So I'm going to show you how to access a recording of a Google Meet for you. So let's say we're done. We've finished our Google Meet and we're ready to move on. I am going to hit this red telephone to leave the call. I'm going to ask my students to do that too. Um, as a teacher, I would probably stay on and make sure all the kids are off first and then I would leave the call. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and I leave the call, and then it takes me here. It says you've left the meeting, and you are um, done. So that is done. I'm going to hit return to home screen, and I am back. So once we're there... We are going to go ahead and we are going to go to um, our Google Drive. And when you get to your Google Drive, you're going to see in your main drive where it says My Drive, a folder will pop up that says Meet Recordings. So that is one place where you will see um, what you're doing. And it pops up. Now, when you click it, it may take, the delay is about anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes. So it may take a while for this video to, to appear in your Google Drive. And then on top of appearing, it may take a while to actually download. So just give it time, but it'll show up. Another place that you will find it is in your email. And when you go to your email, it will automatically... Um, Populate and it'll say meet recordings with a very long number and that shows you That it the meetings done. It's been recorded. So you have two ways to do it And so what I think is really great too is if maybe you taught a lesson and a student couldn't be there Now it's recorded you can upload it to canvas or send it directly to that student so that they can view at a later time and um, so that is Google meets and a quick brief overview and if you have any any questions at all just email me i can talk you through it i can um email you steps or provide any support that you need i thank you teachers for everything you do and i certainly appreciate your time and have a lovely day